Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing the video that I have been putting off for a very 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 long time. Today is my wardrobe declutter. I'm actually filming this intro separately because I forgot to film an intro to the declutter so this is like the next day when I realise that I'm editing and I don't have an introduction so here we are. I have been putting off this declutter of my wardrobe for mm, probably about three to six months. Um, it's just one of those things where I'm not a massive fashion collector, I don't really collect clothing. I like clothing, um, I like to sort of dress up and down, but I am a very casual wearer. I wear very casual clothes, I do have some nice pieces, but overall I'm not very like... I'm not very with it with fashion. I'm just, I'm just not. And one thing with me is that I will never get rid of clothing because I think, well, there's nothing wrong with it. Why should I get rid of it? Well, there's nothing wrong with it. No, but you've had it for eight years, Megan. It, 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 it says 10 to 12 in the label. You're 21. I love watching declutters. They're so therapeutic for me just to watch other people get rid of all of their like crap, really. Um, so if this gives you a little bit of energy to get rid of your crap as well, then I've done my job. Hopefully I can cut down this video a little bit so it's not too long because I know it can get a little bit boring but um yeah hopefully this kind of like stigmatizes is that the right word like gives you a little bit of energy to clear out something that's bugging you in your life because this has definitely been bugging me for a long time um so I'm really really happy with it now l reflecting on it now that it, it's clear for once. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on and declutter my wardrobe. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me and the lighting is okay. It looks a little bit dark, but I don't know how it's coming off on camera, but this is my wardrobe. It's not massive, but it's not small either. I've got three drawers here and three drawers here. You can't quite see the third, but there is a drawer just there. It's built in. Um, I don't love my wardrobes, but they were here when we moved in. They're practical, they're just white. They kind of go with everything, so I've just left them. Um, yeah, this is my wardrobe. So I've got trousers, skirts and shorts kind of hanging up in this area here. That's for work and things as well, so I need to hang up my trousers. I've then got long sleeve shirts, like plaid tops, smart shirts, um, and then jumpers that I can wear a shirt, so like thin jumpers, and jackets all in this bit here. So there's quite a lot crammed in that little space. And then this one I have dresses dungarees, more dresses, tops, tops that have to be hung up, strappy tops, blouses, like I, I don't, I've actually lost track of what's actually in there. The three drawers here I won't be touching too much, um, the top one is pants, bras, um, like bra accessories, things like that. The second one down is socks, tights, footsies, just that sort of department. And the last drawer down there is um, pyjamas and fuzzy socks and just basically yeah, pyjama bedtime things. I have like these baskets that are full of sweaters and jumpers as well. I have three, no I have two of these on that side and then a small one which has got hats and scarves and stuff like that which I probably won't cull too much out of. If I just get rid of a scarf or two I'll be happy. Um, and then I've got the same setup where I've got two big ones and a small one in that side but that has one of these full of gym wear and then the other one is like makeup bags and purses and stuff so I won't be touching up here too much but I will be going through all these jumpers because it's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically pull everything out and put it on my bed which is right in front of me here um, and then I'll pan over and show you like everything that's here. Um, I'm gonna try and categorize it so it's not just one big heap so it's a little bit sort of workable but I just want to pull everything out so that I can put everything back in slowly. Um, so yeah, let's speed through it and I'll do that now.
you guys, there is no more physical room on my bed. I'm partially sweating a little bit, so sorry if I look gross. I don't know if you can see me from this far back, but um, I'm going to show you my bed in a minute, and you'll see that there's no more space for any of this stuff yet. So I'm going to close this up. We're going to shoot that in a minute or something like that, because it's going to take a while to get through this stuff, I think. Um, so yeah, all of this is empty. The only thing in here is this bag here, which is a ring light in case one of my lights stops working it's just like a backup light for me um and a pump with you know those like vacuum bags so that's gonna stay there so that it's like somewhere for it to go i'm gonna show you my bed now and this is just this side of the wardrobe i didn't actually realize how many clothes i had i don't know if this justifies like the amount of clothes that are currently on my bed but there is not an inch of bed space left and i have a king size bed so i hope that puts it into perspective a little bit of how many clothes are currently um, on my bed. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of speed this up a little bit so you don't have to watch me every single piece because that would take literally years. Um, what I'm going to do is just go through this really, really quickly, find pieces that I know I want to keep, I know aren't going anywhere, are an essential in my wardrobe or I've worn just in recent weeks and I know I love. I'm going to pick through it all and shove it all back in the wardrobe now. Um, I'm going to kind of go for the same layout, I think, just because it kind of works for me. I don't know if there's another layout I could do that's better, but having that sort of division of categories of clothes works for me i know it's not the neatest looking so yeah that's what i'm going to do i want to put everything that i know i love back in the wardrobe everything i know i need to work back in the wardrobe right now So I'd say I've culled about half of the clothing. I've kind of already started looking at bits and saying like, nah, I don't need that, I don't need that. Um, but I haven't like removed it from the bed area yet. I haven't even got onto jumpers yet, but I think I'm gonna have to wait until I've sort of done tops, trousers, and all of that malarkey first. Um, but as I was picking up pieces, I was like, Do you know what, I don't know if this actually fits me or not. So that's gonna be my next step. Um, I'm gonna start probably just throwing things that I don't want, such as this vest. Um, nothing wrong with it at all. I'm gonna just place it on the floor like so, all folded. Um, I'm just gonna start putting things I don't want anymore, separating them out on the floor, um, and start trying on clothes. So, yes, here we go. <laughs> So in this zippy wallet thing is three Christmas jumpers that I'm just going to keep in here because um, obviously Christmas only comes around once in a year and I think three is perfectly acceptable, um, you know, like one for Christmas Day and two kind of leading up for Christmas. So I'm going to keep both of these, or should I say three of these, and pop them back up where they belong. Um, so yeah, I'm not even going to mess with these, I'm going to keep these. I only got rid of like three or four jumpers in the end, so I'm going to start loading my woolly jumpers back into these little baskets um, and just see how I get along. They should fit four to five in comfortably using the KonMari method of folding, so 
let's just hope and pray that they do because I'm getting so hot and sweaty right now it's untrue okay so the jumpers fit very very comfortably in here at the moment i reckon i could squeeze one more in here so i just stopped for about an hour or so just because i wanted to get some lunch um i was feeling hungry my nail polish was chipping off all over so i've just taken that off so i've got bare nails now so excuse that but it was getting really really chipped and it was really really gross but yeah i did finish this side of the wardrobe now so all three drawers are now actually to the point where i can open and close them without trouble which is which is always a great thing it's always a great thing to be able to open and close your own drawers um i've really decluttered my rail i thought it was going to be a lot less than I, like than there is there it just strikes me how much i had before because i feel like there looks like there's a lot there already and i had so much more into it i'll show you at the very end how much i'm getting rid of but that's what it looks like at the moment. So yeah, moving on to this wardrobe now. And I legit realised the entire of this video, I've had this massive chunk of blue tack on my wardrobe door. It's just where it goes. I, I need it all the time. I stick things up all the time for notices and stuff. So I stick my hunk of blue tack on my wardrobe. I don't know if I'm quite getting the angle right or it's quite getting in the frame, but I can't lift my camera up anymore to show it down because I've got like a chandelier light fixture literally just out of the frame so sorry if you can't see it all but hopefully hopefully you can so here i've got all of my vesty tops and all of like my blousy tops and then on the other side i've got dungarees dresses formal dresses lacy dresses just any form of top wear and dress wear if that makes any sense and i don't know if you can quite see it but on this panel of my door so this door side if you know what i mean i have got loads of hooks on a plank of wood or like a piece of wood um and I've got loads of hooks hanging all of my necklaces. That's just a little DIY that I did to try and make space for all of my necklaces. So yeah, just like I said at the beginning of this video, just up here out of the frame, you might be able to see the bottom of the baskets. I've got three baskets, just like I do in that wardrobe. Um, but they have my makeup cases, little purses, just like little zippy purses and pockets and makeup cases and wash bags and clutches, just like small purses that aren't quite a handbag. Um, or like an overnight bag things like that are just up there in those baskets separated i then have a final basket just up here i think it's just out of sight so you can't see it unfortunately but it is just gym wear rolled up really nicely um i've got enough of it i don't have too much i'm not in excess if i was to get rid of any of it i would need to replace it so i'm not going to declutter any of that it doesn't need decluttering i've got a perfect amount for how much i use it so yeah just the same technique as i did in the last wardrobe i'm going to be just taking all of this out and hopefully Hopefully it's less than this one because that one was overwhelming. I literally didn't realise how many clothes I really had in that wardrobe. Like it's kind of freaking me out a little bit that I had so many clothes in one wardrobe. So yeah, that's a bit of a bummer that I'm not utilising all the clothes that I do have and I'm not wearing them all so... Yeah, it's kind of a little bit sad, really. But yeah, once again, I'm going to use the same process that I used for this wardrobe and just pick up all the bits that I know that I love and that fit me and I'm going to whack them straight in the wardrobe and then I'll go through the rest bit by bit, just like I did with the other one. the wardrobe because i only got rid of a handful of things but i feel like it's made all the difference in my wardrobe i mean it might not seem a lot to get rid of but i've still got rid of i'd say about 20 to 25 items there but they're all thin things like very thin things like this so it doesn't actually take up that much room in comparison to all the jumpers and tracky bottoms and trousers in here even being able to move things around and seeing things is a massive massive difference for me and i probably find that as time goes on i see the things that i'm not wearing and i can just declutter it as i go on um but i feel like i've really had to take this 
this first step of decluttering the most of my wardrobe so that I can actually see what I've got and see what I start wearing and see what I'm not wearing. So yeah, that is it. I'm going to shove all of this stuff that I am not keeping into bags and show you now. So these are all of the clothes I'm getting rid of. I've got one full laundry bag, one big blue Ikea bag full and a massive Primark bag full. A lot of pyjamas I decluttered just off camera. Um, but yeah, these are all full. So three full, effectively three, three of these guys, which... Yeah, I'm quite proud of. So starting off with the first wardrobe that I decluttered and starting at the top, I've got two big baskets of jumpers and then in the middle I've got hats, scarves and gloves and like caps just resting on top and one sun hat resting on top. So all of the jumper ones look like, oh, look like that on top, um, all organised, only about five or six in each basket, but that's all right, I've got quite a lot of jumpers. So effectively that's 10 jumpers up there and they're all winter jumpers, not summer jumpers, not autumn, they are winter jumpers, they're nice and thick. Then moving down, I've quickly just reshuffled. Um, I've got jackets all here. I've only got a few essential jackets, just like a khaki one, a military jacket, denim, leather, and a cord. And then all of my scarves are on this contraption right here, which is just basically a massive triangle. You can buy these from Primark um, and you just shove all of your scarves on. These scarves are different from those scarves in a sense that those are winter and these are sort of like jacket scarves they're really thin sort of type that you can wear all year round so I'm just going to keep them protected with this big jacket here so that they don't fray and then moving along we have some trousers that I keep for work just keep them nice and straight I don't have a lot um, I probably have about two in the washing at the moment so I have about five pairs of work trousers um, and a big pair of like balloony sort of pants here sort of thing I then have this one skirt I have decluttered all of my skirts you guys because I don't really wear them I don't really wear skirts so why keep them and then a pair of shorts and pair of shorts I've got one more in the wash um again I don't really wear shorts very often so why keep them if I don't wear them and then on this side I've got shirts that are button up jumpery tops that I can wear sort of at work during the day they're not sort of jumpers that need anything underneath them they're quite thin especially things like off the shoulder jumpers like this I wouldn't probably wear anything underneath this maybe a vest but not really anything underneath it and then all of these are cardigans these go with my work outfits they're just grey and black nothing really that exciting um I've got one with a few bikes on I guess that's kind of cute so when I zoom out it kind of looks like this I really don't like my wardrobes and how dark they are but there's nothing I can really do about that but it looks better than it did and it looks a little bit more empty and I can see everything a little bit better so I'm happy with that so far. So going into the first drawer I have all of my sweaters. I fold all of my clothes the KonMari method unless it's hanging up I fold it the KonMari method. Um, you can find the KonMari method um, all over YouTube and on the internet and it's just a specific way of folding things basically to be able to see what's in front of you and to be able to see what you um, have got in your drawers. In the second drawer are all of my t-shirts. Again, folded the KonMari method. I have a lot, a lot of t-shirts. Um, I'm a t-shirt gal through and through. I'm a very casual being. I'm not fashionable whatsoever, so I kind of love a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. That is what I rock day to day. I kind of have all of my graphic tees and all of my very sort of manly-esque, I suppose you could say, sort of t-shirts here. Not very feminine at all, but these are my very boxy t-shirts here. I then have some sort of graphic tees that are quite feminine, you know, like these Abercrombie and Fitch ones. I've um, got like this Chubba Chups one, more Hollister, um, some Ralph Lauren polos, kind of things I can style up and down. And these ones are my plain ones, um, like crop tops, a little Nike top there, Hollister. Just very feminine tops just in this section that I can dress up or down depending on what I'm wearing. In the last drawer, we have all of my bottoms. Um, so these are all tracky bottoms because I love wearing tracky bottoms. They're the comfiest thing known to man. Um, these are all of my leggings here and a pair of like really thick tights that could class as leggings. Um, I do have two pairs of jeans in the wash that I know that fit me. So they will go straight back in here when I'm done. I have one more pair of blue and one more pair of black, but I got rid of a lot of jeans. This was absolutely heaving out of here. Um, so I've got rid of quite a lot in here. I just cannot part with my tracky bottoms. I have, still have too many, but... I can't do it. I can't get rid of the comfort. But yeah, I need some more jeans because look at it. It's just so sparse. It's so sad. And then opening up the second wardrobe and starting at the top. That's all my gym wear. Like I said, it's not brimming. I can manage it. It's absolutely fine where it is. And then this is a little bit about control, but I'll sort this at a later date. Um, this is just like spare purses, tiny bags, clutches, makeup bags, wash bags, more makeup bags. It's just 
that that's not clothes and I will declutter that at a later point when I can be bothered basically and then moving down this is what my wardrobe looks like now um it still looks very very messy I kind of want matching hangers because well these aren't pretty are they really but you know we can all dream so starting from here I've got some work dresses and things I can wear to work quite like woolen or fine knit dresses that I can just grab for work um, and then moving into some blousier tops I can wear for work or sort of smart casual um, some t-shirts some t-shirts that are better hung up um, than folded some more casual t-shirts t-shirts like strappy tops here noodly tops that one's still got the uh, the price tag on it brilliant so yeah this sort of section from that little divider onwards is like strappy t-shirts t-shirts long t-shirts and then a few dresses that i can get to easily for work and then from this side onwards it's just like strappy dresses that i like to wear in summer or i can wear with a really thick sort of jacket and sort of have it in autumn so yeah sort of strappy dresses here um all different lengths as well um and then i've got ones that just cup the shoulder or have a pee, -pee shoulder thing sort of dresses like that um i've got play suits and rompers here um, so a few casual dresses as well, dungarees, um, and then these are all of my formal dresses. So from this very bright pink dress onwards are all of my formal dresses for work, um, or do's, or birthdays, anything like that. These are all my formal dresses. And then my one little sentimental orange baked bean dress that I can't depart with. Cannot get rid of that. So yeah, it might look a little bit messy like I said, but it'll do and I can see everything a little bit better now. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit happier with it now. These three drawers are my pants and socks drawers. Obviously I don't really want to show you those because, you know, it's it's personal. Um, but this one is my pyjama drawer and I have decluttered all of them a little bit, but uh, I need to go through this a little bit more. But I've got some really puffy sort of pyjamas that I need to sort of vacuum back because they take up so much room so yeah I have I have tried to organize it a little bit I've got lo loads of fluffy socks in the vacuum pack there as well um but yeah all the drawers are a little bit more organized now so I'm much more happy about it so yeah this has been my wardrobe declutter sorry if it's been a little bit informal for you but to be honest I just wanted to get through this mainly for myself and I thought I'd just record it anyway if anyone enjoys it or just gets a little bit of inspiration to declutter their wardrobes and you know sometimes watching someone else declutter their stuff can make you want to declutter your stuff which can be very beneficial to you if you have a lot of clutter such as I do so yeah, that's the end of the video guys. Thank you so much for helping me declutter my wardrobe with me because Lord knows I just wouldn't have done it if I didn't film it. Like that's 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 the truth about the matter. And if you have enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe down below if you have not already, hit the bell, drop it down to all so you can see all of my videos. And yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Okay, let's get on with the declutter. With the declutter. Let's get on with the declutter. 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 <laughs> That can all that 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 can all stay. Stop driving up my road. Stop driving up my road. You're really annoying me.